Let us give thanks to the Lord for this wonderful day which He has given for this new year. As uh, the other 167 family, we are celebrating the fifth year which we have stepped in. So, uh, let us look into the Lord's word. Before we turn to the scriptures, I would like to ask each one of us that uh, we are very much familiar with the concept of something known as golden words. We all know what are golden words actually, right? Uh, in schools, these, this thing is thought to the children very clearly that golden words are like words such as <coughs> sorry, thank you, please, excuse me. So all these words consist of, they have, it has been given a title something known as golden words. So I was wondering what is the actual definition, what we can define as golden words. So I was googling it and suddenly I found a line you can catch or a definition which, were, which I, when I read, I was like oh wow. The beautiful it is. So the golden words are using these words shows good manners. Using these words shows good manners and adds respect to the person you are speaking with. And adds respect to the person you are speaking with. Now when we say the golden words such as sorry, please or thank you. So it shows that we the person who is speaking, we are of good manners, we are of good values, we have good values, good manners. Not only about ourselves, but it also adds respect to the person whom we are speaking with. So if I am saying thank you to you, it will reflect that I am a person with good values, but it will also add respect to you. So in this beautiful day, in this beautiful moment, where we have completed the four glorious year, right? Let us give respect to the Lord by saying thank you. Right? Let us all together thank the Lord for his wonderful, for his wonderful work, for his faithfulness throughout these years. Let us turn to Psalms 118, verses 1 to 5. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Let Israel say, His love endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, His love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His love endures forever. Amen. It's a beautiful psalm. In this psalm, we see the psalmist calls each and every one to thank the Lord. Now why we should thank the Lord, he say? Because he is good, because his love is enduring forever. His love has been enduring forever in our lives. So the psalmist is saying his love has endured forever in us. It is ever, it is everlasting love. So let us come and thank the Lord for he is good and his love endures forever. Not only he himself tell, tells to himself, but he calls to the people of Israel and to the house of Aaron. Now who are the house of Aaron? The house of Aaron is the priests, the priesthood people, the people who are his priests, the people uh, who have consecrated their life as his, as servant of God, as priests. So he calls to the whole Israelite, the whole Israel community, to the whole Israelite people and also to the house of Aaron. And at, in the fourth verse he says, let those who fear the Lord say. He also calls some people who are, who are filled with the fear of the Lord. Now, fear of the Lord here means those who worship him in truth and spirit, not that actual fear, but the people who worship him in actual truth and spirit. So the psalmist calls the Israelites, the people of Israel, to the house of Aaron, those are the priests, and to the one who fears the Lord. The one who fears the Lord means actually who worships the Lord in truth and spirit. And he says, let us all come in together, let us all unite and say that his love endures forever. By saying his love endures forever, by telling this by singing it let us give thanks to the Lord so let us all today unite and say to the Lord as a family of, uh, of other 167 let us come let us unite and say thanks to the Lord for his wonderful blessings <laughs> 